Yo, what's up? This is Boxing Combo. I've been out for a while, but there's a lot of boxing to talk about. I don't think I'm going to have that much time to talk about. A lot of the things I'm thinking about, probably the, the Mayweather situation with Pacquiao. Um, didn't get a chance to watch the Diaz-Marquez fight. I would like um, to hear about that. I need to start watching some vids here on YouTube to see what you guys think about that Marquez in a, and Diaz uh, rematch. And to, see, and to see and hear what you guys think about the Cotto versus Chavez. Just then, some, some new info on this, that this fight is actually official. You know, I, I honestly thought that Chavez had a fight coming up, and if he won that fight, Chavez Jr., he would have the opportunity and the chance to face Miguel Cotto at 154 super welterweight for Miguel Cotto's title for the AMB. So uh, apparently, no, this fight has already been signed for December 4th in Allenton, Texas in the Cowboy Stadium, pretty big stadium, it's going to be a big show, um, huge Mexican public, but you know, I understand that a huge part of the Latino public and the American public and the American Latino public, they all have a lot of respect for Miguel Cotto. So you will probably see a lot of, you, obviously you're going to see a lot of Chavez Jr. fans, but I'll, I'll bet you're gonna see a lot of Mexican fans rooting for Miguel Cotto because of Miguel Cotto's style. Miguel Cotto always comes to fight. He brings it every time. He's not scared to be busted up or to cut up. He keeps coming. And he's the type of guy that you're gonna have to kill in the ring to get him off you. Or, you know, he's that type of a fighter and I think people respect that and they've grown to like Miguel Cotto and to respect him and uh, Miguel Cotto's a superstar in the boxing game and Chavez Jr. is trying to look to climb that mountain. That's what Chavez Jr. wants. He wants to be like Cotto. He wants to be like his dad. He wants to be a superstar in this game, which I think he might be able to achieve if he wins this fight. Um, obviously, he has Freddie Roach in his corner. I think he's working a lot better with Freddie Roach. I do think that's a big plus to have Freddie Roach in your corner when Freddie Roach already knows what to do and what it takes to defeat Miguel Cotto. Now, it's in Chavez Jr.'s hand to be able to perform and execute the game plan just like Manny Pacquiao did. Um, Javid Jr. I believe is undefeated. I think he has one tie and I, I understand he avenged that tie. So uh, Javid Jr. is a young up and coming fighter. He's like six feet tall. He has long arms. If he, if he stays on the outside and he jabs and he moves and he looks for those uppercuts just like Manny Pacquiao did, I think he could be successful. Uh, he can't let Miguel Cotto come in the inside and Miguel Cotto catches him in those rib cage. You know, I see Chavez Jr. and I don't see his body really built. He doesn't have a muscular, tight, strong abdominal section. I understand if Miguel Cotto starts ripping those body hooks to Chavez Jr., uh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna tear him up. You know, I look at Chavez Jr. and I see him with a weak, skinny body, and I think Miguel Cotto. That's an advantage for Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto is fast enough to get inside go for that body and then I do think he can actually knock Chavez Jr. out by going to the body. He could also go for the head shots. Miguel Cotto, he's a fast fighter. He's coming back to the point where he's a faster fighter with um, um, uh, Manuel Stewart and uh, I think it's going to be a good fight. I also think that Chavez Jr., you know, this is a toss-up fight. I think, my personal opinion, uh, I do think Miguel Cotto could win this fight but I do understand that Chavez Jr. listens to what to everything, to everything that Freddie Roach tells him, and he does exactly what Freddie Roach needs him to do. I do think Chavez Jr. could win this fight, but Chavez Jr., you know, he's a tough son of a gun, and he's probably going to forget about what Freddie Roach told him. He's going to step in there, he's going to start throwing punches, and he's, you know, he's going to get carried away. He's going to let Miguel Cotto come in the inside, Miguel Cotto's going to rip those punches to those rib cage, and he's going to knock Chavez Jr. out. That's how I see it. I think I think Miguel Cotto can win a knockout win over Chavez Jr. So like, that's like a pre-pre-prediction bit. You know, I put it out there. I do think Cotto can win. But I do think Chavez Jr. has the best chance. I do, I, you know, Chavez Jr., he's younger. He's taller. You know, uh, Chavez Jr. has everything to win this fight. But I don't think he's going to take advantage of that. I think he won't. You know, I think he'll just get frustrated. And and I, I, don't, I don't see him winning this fight, you know, but I wish the best, you know, the best fighter the best. I don't care, you know, if Chavez Jr. wins, it's all good. He's a young and up-and-coming fighter, and uh, we can see more of Chavez Jr. if he wins this fight. And even if he loses, sometimes if you lose a fight, but you, you lose it in a warrior-like fashion, people are going to respect you anyway, and they're going to want to see you fight again. I don't know if I'm past 10 minutes or not, you know, I get carried away talking about one subject. I wanted to talk about Manny Pacquiao and... Uh, 
uh, Scaredy Cat Mayweather. You know, I don't know. Now, Manny Pacquiao said he'll take every test. He'll do all the things that Mayweather wanted him to do. And now Mayweather just goes off. He flies to Puerto Rico. I heard he's in Florida. Uh, when he was in Puerto Rico, I was thinking he was going to try to sign a fight with Miguel Cotto. And nothing happened. So I'm like, man, this, you know, Mayweather, I don't even know what you got. Honestly, I don't know what you want to do with your career. Um, and Margarito, Margachito, I have no respect for this guy. This guy can, I could wake up tomorrow and heard he was hit by a truck or something. Or he drowned or something in the middle of the sea while he was on vacation. And honestly, I wouldn't care. I don't have no care for Margachito and Pacquiao. Don't. Don't take this fight. This is a very, very stupid fight. You have nothing to win. Nothing. To, it doesn't. It doesn't mean anything to take a fight with Margarito. Margarito should not fight anymore. Uh, bottom line. So I hope I haven't caught him past the 10-minute mark. And I'll probably do some more of this tomorrow, or probably even tonight if I have time to upload this one. So y'all know, man. Much respect. Much love to the whole boxing community on YouTube.